Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today in The Sims 4, we are with our legacy family and we have had bills delivered for the first time on this new lot and it's not that bad. Our total bills are 366 simoleons. I feel like that's pretty good, honestly. So I'm gonna go on and let Johnny pay those. Everybody else is at school or work. I had thought about maybe going and exploring a little bit. I don't really know what all Johnny has to do, but first we apparently have a tenant rule violation. Two, Rokaya Rockside has violated violated the no loud noises rule the neighbors can't get any sleep and something needs to be done about it we're the neighbors and nobody's asleep but i think that's funny post fine remotely using the mailbox or prosecute fine directly to face the consequences what does that mean i'm not afraid of denzel maybe a little bit one of the kids has left their horse toy outside what now i can't even pick it up it says i don't own it i know that's our horse toy let's find denzel we didn't get to find him for the trash overload, but we do get to find him now for loud noises. So let's post a fine. The main thing Johnny's actually needing to do right now is to handle a maintenance event. And I don't have a lot of opportunities to do that. I guess I'm just kind of having to wait on something to happen for that. Okay, so we have officially posted a fine, but we have not gotten any money yet. I don't know if Denzel's gonna pay us or not. Let's go over to his unit though really quickly because we really don't have anything else to do and we could do a little bit of maintenance. Well, we are here and Denzel's actually on the lot. So I think we should just go in and prosecute the fine, whatever that means. Oh, now we've lost a little bit of our relationship with Denzel. <gasps> He handed us something, but it says your attempt to gain compensation for loud noise rule break failed. Unit rating has also fallen and I can just unjustly evict him right now. I think that I am justified in evicting him, but I guess not. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't really like that. He did hand me something. Let's go do some maintenance on the stove. I feel like that's the one thing I don't want to break. I don't mind if I have to come fix the sink or something like that. I do not want there to be a fire. <gasps> Denzel has went and knocked over our trash can, you guys. I don't know about him, honestly. Oh, Johnny's sad. He's sad mainly because he chose to cheat on Jade in the last episode, but also because our tenant did not pay their fine and it's made him quite sad. Uh-oh, we are getting a text message from Marcus. And just in case you guys didn't see that episode, Marcus actually is the one that Johnny cheated with. I kind of missed what happened, but apparently it was Marcus. He's wondering if I want to go over to his house and hang out. Absolutely not. I feel so sad that our friendship with Marcus is going to have to come to an end, but I feel like it is going to have to because he's quite flirty now. Oh, Denzel is still complaining. You didn't even pay the fine. Don't even start with me. Okay, I think we should go explore something. I don't know what, but I feel like we should get out on the town. We haven't been to that many places yet. So I know we have the national park. I kind of want to take the whole family there. I don't know if it's going to have that much to do, but I kind of want to explore that with everyone. But I know there's also a cave over here and I'm thinking Johnny might could go explore that a little bit. And we have this family here that we haven't actually met them yet. So let's travel to their house and get to know them. Okay, cute. We got somebody watching the TV. I hear somebody over here. I'm probably not gonna know how to say any of their names. This looks like Waban. I'm so sorry if I have the names wrong, you guys. I'm just really bad at pronunciation. I like her dress though. Let's see what kind of stuff she's interested in. Oh, I wonder if we could do the Tomarang Truth as well. We just met her, but we can. I feel like that's the quickest way to get to know someone. Marcus is texting us, asking us now, legitimately asking us if we want to go out on a date. He used to ask us all the time. If you guys remember, he would ask us to go out like to these different places with him, Johnny and Jade. And apparently he has set his sights on Johnny now. Okay, time for a Tomarang Truth. Hidden truths are all around us. With enough trust in one another, people are more likely to share what's deep within. Sure, if you snoop around, you could find things, but isn't it also nice to just make conversation with the people around you? Is that it? Is that her tomering truth? All right, let's see who else is in the house. We've got a little toddler whose name is Sudbun. Do we have anyone else? Um, it doesn't really look like anybody else is home. So maybe we could go try to explore that cave. I feel like it's a bit odd to approach the toddler and start chatting with her toddler. Or she may be the grandmother. I don't know. She's an elder. Oh, Austin is done with school. Oh, everybody's done with school. Let's bring them here. 
because Austin actually needs to use a squat toilet and I think this house has one. I wonder if we have to knock as well. It looks like we can just barge in at this point. Hopefully they won't mind if we go use their toilet. Jackson and Poppy are doing kind of good. I'm gonna let them just go on and do their homework. They do have some needs that they need to take care of but I'm gonna let them get started on that while Johnny explores this cave. Oh, we have to use the squat toilet three times to complete that part of the aspiration. That seems excessive. Oh wow, Poppy and Jackson are already done with their homework. I did not expect them to be done that fast. Johnny hasn't even made it to the cave yet. He's still got quite a ways to go. Oh no, Austin is sad because the tenant wouldn't pay their fine. He's a teenager. I don't feel like he should be sad about that. Okay, Johnny has at least made it to the cave. Look, he looks so sad. As soon as he gets done, we'll go home because the kids are doing pretty good, honestly. They're getting a little bit hungry though. I don't want to cook food in these people's home because I feel like that will make them throw me out. <gasps> Wait, here's a Sim who's actually cooking. Maybe he won't mind if we have a little bit. No, he just cooked enough for him. Here we go, rocky beginnings. Making his way into the cave, Johnny realizes the rocky surfaces around him are quite slippery from the recent high tide. Stopping to take stock of the situation, something catches his attention. Way up above, there appears to be a relatively dry ledge that snakes around out of sight. It's perilous, but could he make the climb? The cave also stretches onward dead ahead and looks like it might dry out in the not so far distance. He'd just have to make it over the treacherous rocks and I have to choose whether he's gonna climb up to the ledge above or continue forward across the slippery rocks. I don't feel like slippery rocks are ever a good idea. I'm gonna say climb up to the ledge above, even though I don't know if that's a good idea either. Johnny made a running leap for the ledge and missed. He hit the wall hard and slid back down onto the cave floor, leaving him wet, sandy, and bruised. That didn't quite go as planned. Does that mean he's done? Is he gonna come back out now? I messed up. I chose the wrong thing. Okay, Jade's home from work. I'm gonna bring her here, but I think I'm gonna have have to send at least Austin home, maybe all the kids because they're getting hungry. So I think I'm going to let them all go home and hopefully eat. But Jade could use a little bit of snooping still for her aspiration while Johnny does his thing in the cave. He's very uncomfortable. Oh, he's also cold, but it's not my choice that he's in his swim trunks. That's his choice. Okay, Jade, let's see if we can eavesdrop on someone. Oh, it doesn't let me do it easily. It's so frustrating. Are they talking? Can we Oh, I guess we have to introduce ourselves to them first. All right, we have a different thing this time, which means I'm probably going to choose wrong again. This one is beautiful carvings. Locals have always ventured into Beard Beard Cove to soak in both the beauty and the history. Along the eastern wall, Johnny finds cave carvings and drawings all splayed out. It tells the tale of war and triumph, if you're keen enough to decipher it. So we can admire from a safe distance or try to decipher. I'm going to try to decipher it. It's probably the wrong choice. Check out this plate glitch happening right here. I want to eavesdrop on someone. Okay, let's see what happened with Johnny. While looking over the carvings, another etching catches Johnny's eye. It's newer than old, but older than you. A heart hanging from the talons of a parrot in flight with some initials marked inside. PCT and JWBB, whoever they were, they must have been madly in love to brave any potential pirates lingering nearby. These waters were not always safe, but love can make people do wild things. Okay. Oh, now Marcus is texting Jade. The audacity of Marcus, you guys. He wants to know if Jade wants to hang out at the nightclub. No, Marcus, it's getting weird. Jade is eavesdropping right now on these Sims, but something has glitched and restarted all of my progress. Okay, there it comes back and she didn't get any secrets. That's okay, let's try it again. Is that it? That's all you get out of the cave? What is the cave about? I don't understand. I'm gonna send him in one more time. Oh, okay, this time we did discover a secret. Wow, Bun has a ripped pants secret. That's her secret. Oh my goodness, that's such a weird secret. Okay, third time's the charm. Did you hear that? Johnny's eyes struggle to adjust to the cave's darkness. All he can do is stumble around, arms stretched forward, hoping not to trip over any rocks. A faint sound suddenly catches his attention, skittering, squeaking, and is that whispering? Frightened, Johnny freezes in place. Could someone or something be in the cave with him, an animal or a ghost? We can take a deep breath and listen or call out in the darkness. I'm gonna take a risk and take a deep breath and listen. I feel like I'm really bad at this. Johnny took a deep breath and concentrated on the strange sounds. Turns out there was no whispering. It was just his breathing. Apparently stumbling around in the dark is a bit of a workout. With that mystery solved and no desire to figure out what might still be lurking in there, he decided to make for the exit. There's enough, that's enough cave time for today. Wow, okay. That 
that's a little bit salty. So you can only go into the cave three times. You guys, we've just gotten home and look at who is standing outside of our house. It's Marcus. I don't know what is going on with Marcus right now, you guys. This has all taken such a weird turn. I feel like if it's not going to be a thunderstorm, Austin could go out and about and start introducing himself to Sims. We need to use the Tomarini introduction two more times. Maybe we could go to the night market and find someone. Okay, let's see. Salma is wanting us to Oh, this is spicy. She says, Humor and Hijinx Festival is the best. I'd love to take you there. The fireworks alone are amazing. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna say no, Nanny Selma. I'm sorry. Austin is a rancher at heart. His ideal of a good time includes doing chores around the ranch and interacting with livestock. Rancher Sims excel at ranch life, occasionally making a bonus bottle when crafting nectar or extra hay when harvesting prairie grass. And he will be more successful at horse breeding. I think our horse breeding days are over. But it is interesting that he will like nectar making as well. We could get the nectar maker back out for Austin. All right, he's done it. So now he just needs to use a squat toilet two more times, which I don't think we're going to be able to do tonight. We can check and see if the store has any new marbles, though. I actually really enjoy the collection part of the game. Honestly, it makes me so happy. We do. We have a new marble, Belladonna Cove. A classic blue swirl marble. Some might call it a throwback to games past. I think those are the same two tassels because we got green and pink. So I think that's right. How else do you find that stuff? Is there something that you can find in the world like all the other ones? It says teens and older Sims are able to find them by searching toy boxes. And then the tassels can be found in many places. Check around the beaches, the night market, and delve into the Sully Tiger Sanctuary. There's rumors of a cave nearby. Oh my goodness, but we didn't find anything in that cave. We can browse the fish market though. Let's go try that. I think it's going to be impossible for me to find anything this late at night. It's so dark. As expected, is just a place you can buy fish. I don't think I'm interested in that. I'm gonna let Austin come home. He needs to take care of himself and get ready for school tomorrow. Jade is still crying herself to sleep, you guys. Well, I guess she's actually asleep. She's just crying in her sleep. That did not sound good. That sounded like an explosion. What just happened? Oh, it's Thimble. It's our hedgehog. It says 321 blast off. Fascinating. Thimble appears to be conducting experiments on reaching escape velocity from its habitat. Oh my gosh, does that mean it wants to leave? I don't want our hedgehog to run away. Jade can wake up though. It's actually time for her to get up. I think I'm gonna let her go on a little bit of a run this morning because she doesn't have a lot of snooping she can do at this point. Okay, actually change of plans. I'm gonna let Jade come out here and help Jackson build a tree house. And then as the other kids wake up, if they're doing good, they can come out here and help as well. It looks like Thimble is doing fine up there. I don't know what's going on with him, but I think it'd be cute if they could work on this little tree house together. Poppy actually has to take care of herself and then she can go help with the treehouse. She has another loose tooth. I think this is Poppy's third loose tooth or is it just her second? I don't know. I can't keep up. Let's pull it out though. And then she can come help build the treehouse too. Maybe it'll go a little bit faster if we're all helping. Denzel is out here chatting with Jackson it looks like. I don't know if I like that, honestly. I don't I don't know how I feel about Denzel. Alston did not get his homework done last night, so he actually has to do it this morning. And Johnny is up and Adam, and I'm thinking that he might could come join in with the building of the treehouse as well. Maybe that would help him and Jade a little bit. They'd be doing an activity together, but they're not actually having to be friendly with each other, maybe. So I'm gonna let him go down there. And school for everybody starts in an hour. I kind of feel bad because Austin is having to do his homework while everybody else is working on the treehouse. But I guess he's a teenager. It kind of makes sense that he wouldn't want to be doing what everybody else is doing. Johnny, where are you going? Do not leave this family. Oh, Poppy just became good friends with Jade. That's promising. Maybe Johnny and Jade, this is helping them. Maybe. Okay, I think it's actually time for the kids to go to school. I'm gonna have to let them go to school, even though I think that's really cute and very nice. I never have built a treehouse before. I think that's nice. Austin is still not done with his homework. I'm gonna let him finish before he goes to school. I think he's got time. Okay, and now Johnny and Jade are working on it together. I feel like Johnny's just telling Jade what to do and kind of cheering for her, which would actually just get on my nerves. She reached handiness level two. I forgot she doesn't even like handiness. It doesn't seem to be bothering her though, honestly. Okay, there. Austin is done with his homework. He can go to school now. Johnny reached handiness level 
level seven. He's not even doing anything. I probably should have let Jade eat before she had to go to work, but I don't think, I think we're out of time. I think she's got to go to work now. All right, Johnny, you can put up the treehouse plants. I think you've helped enough. I think Patchy really is helping us because the last few times that I've tried to tend the garden, it says no plants need tending at the moment. The bees, I'm not sure how much they're doing, but we are making a little bitty bit of progress with them. We're not friends with them, but we're doing good. I'm going to let Johnny try to bond with them. They're calm right now. No, they're going to sting us. Oh, well, Johnny's used to that at this point. He probably needs to come grab something to eat really quickly. And tomorrow is a winter fest. The family isn't doing great for winter fest this year. Where are we going to put our tree? We have one. I got to figure out where to put it though i guess i could swap these two out i could put the tree right here we need a fireplace too don't we i don't have a fireplace in this build i think we're gonna have to put the tv up for a minute i'm gonna just put that in the inventory and then we'll put our little fireplace right here i'm just gonna go with the small one from horse ranch alston has two different tests today and one of them is going to be tough there's a little time to study beforehand should he spend all of his time studying for the harder test or use time to study for both tests equally i'm gonna say study for the hard one i don't know i feel like i'm so bad at those he breezes through the easy test and extra study time on the harder test really pays off he gets an a minus and a b plus not bad austin good job oh we got something else going on with thimble i didn't know thimble was going to be so active but it says the doctors at the sacred spleen memorial hospital wish to express their gratitude to thimble this year will be remembered in medical history as the year that a fully functioning ear was grown on thimble's back Ew, you guys, which was then transferred to a sim suffering from Anosha. I don't know if I said that right. Here's to you, Thimble. Wow, Thimble really gets around. So these are the only neighbors I think that we have not met. I'm gonna go try to introduce myself to them really quickly. Oh, they're already outside. That's so nice. Okay, let's give a Tomarani introduction to them. She says, it's my job to track the trends and cultivate a solid fashion sense. But if I'm being honest, fashion don't don't really exist your style is yours i think the only fashion faux pas would be wearing nothing at all oh i like her she seems nice and they did have one tenant i think so i'm gonna see if i can visit her and introduce myself to her as well oh it says it looks like nobody's home we could have started a break-in all right well i guess we can just go back home then oh there's denzel oh jackson's got a friend should jackson invite over classmate jordan absolutely Poppy also wants to invite over Jordan, sure. Oh, there's Jordan, all right. Here's our little friend. Let's figure out what he's all about, what he's interested in. Oh, he's angry. Poppy needs to go play a musical instrument. She also needs to do her homework. I guess I'll let her do that first. Oh, it's finally done, it's finished. What does Johnny need to do then? We're still kind of just waiting on a maintenance event for Johnny. I feel like it's so boring. But that means Jackson can go play pretend in the treehouse really quickly. Oh, we could play with our friend, Jordan. How do we do that? Where did he go? Here he is yelling at our unicorn. Why does everyone take it out? <gasps> he just hit our unicorn, you guys. Why does everyone take everything out on the unicorn? Play pretend with okay let's play pirates with jordan and maybe he will calm down jade's home from work she didn't get a promotion i think it's because i'm not doing the extra task i kind of feel bad but at the same time i don't jackson's playing pretend in the treehouse that's so cute that's adorable is that where the music's coming from also <gasps> we we have another event oh i hope this is considered a maintenance event okay it, we've had this one before and it didn't count but we've got another trash overload problem so let's visit the unit is that what i need to do that's what i did last time and like i said it didn't count but i'm gonna try again i would love to make some progress on johnny's aspiration that would make me so happy all right so it says empty trash and complete trash removal so let's see i can call for trash removal that's what i did last time so let me just check and see if i need to do something different okay maybe that's what i need to do i need to empty the trash first we are walking a long way to empty this trash. This is going to take a minute. Buddy, where are you going? We're not even anywhere close to the unit now. All the way over here to empty the trash. We still have five 
trash removals we need to do. Maybe I was supposed to call the guy first. It has literally taken two hours to take the trash out. Look at Denzel pretending like he's not the one who came up with all this trash. Johnny, what are you doing? He just put his trash in my trash can. Where is the guy that came, comes and gets the trash? He's not here. There's no one here again. Is this a maintenance event? I'm gonna stop maintenancing Denzel's unit and just wait for stuff to break. I do feel like that should count as a maintenance event because I'm having to go over there and maintenance the garbage. So I don't really know why it doesn't count, but it doesn't. Oh, Poppy is sad because she had a bad day at school. I just noticed that. Did you finish your aspiration? No, she quit. As soon as I left the lot, she quit. Austin is down here running on a treadmill, which I'm honestly not going to complain if his homework is done, which I have a bad feeling it is not. Let's go do our homework. Oh, Austin does like fitness. That's so cool because I actually said that I felt like he was going to be very athletic and he likes fitness. I love that. Jade is up here playing chess, listening to Poppy play that violin. I would leave, honestly, if I was her. I think I'm going to let Johnny come get started on his gourmet cooking skill because he actually has cooking level 10. So I feel like he needs to be leveling up something. Jackson is cold. He's out here playing pretend like he's supposed to be, but hopefully he'll change his outfit because he's gotten a little bit cold outside. Yes, there we go. And Thimble is on the move again. He's brought us another postcard, which I did add a little post board, cork board. I don't know what it's called. Poster board. Whatever it's called, this is it. I added this to Poppy's room so that we could add Thimble's little postcards to it. I don't know where they are. Are they in the household inventory? Yes, it's a postcard cork board. Okay, I was close to what it actually is called. So Jackson finished playing pretend in the tree house. Now he needs to stargaze next, but I think he needs to go to bed because he has school tomorrow. Poppy has finally completed her aspiration, which means we can finally stop listening to the violin. She just achieved her childhood dream of becoming an artistic prodigy. She now is creatively gifted. I guess it's getting pretty late. She could probably come check on Thimble and then go to bed. Oh my goodness, he is starving. Let's go fill his food quickly before he dies. And his attention and activity is also low, so I guess we can play with him. I'm kind of scared of being bitten by them. I know there's one, at least one of these animals that you your sim can get like attacked by, I think. And so I don't want that to happen to anyone in the family. Everyone is pretty much asleep or trying to go to sleep at this point, but I have a few issues. Johnny is trying to repair the fridge. That's not an issue, that's fine. But I just noticed he actually has 12,000 satisfaction points. We need to spend some of that. We could actually benefit from that. And also our horses, well, Nevada is over at the other unit. I've got to call them over here. They're not supposed to be over there. They don't belong over there. I don't want them over there bonding with Denzel. They were actually inside the unit. Is that what that means? You guys, I think they went into Denzel's house. I'm going to call them over. I think I'm going to get him the gym rat trait because I want him to spend more time on the treadmill. But is there any potion that I can get that would make Jade like us? You can get a retrading potion. I don't want to do that. Potion of youth? This will turn back the clock on your sim's current age. I didn't know that was a thing. I feel like we either need to buy Never Weary, Forever Full, or the Savant trait. So I will hold off until the next episode. You guys let me know in the comments which one you think we should get. It's still just acting like the horses are stuck inside Denzel's unit. I don't like that. I don't know what's going on with it, but I think they're okay for now. I'm going to let Johnny go to sleep. And I think that is it for today's episode, honestly. Is that Vlad creeping around outside the unit? At least he's outside Denzel's unit. He's not outside mine. I think that is it for today's episode, though. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below what trait I should get for Johnny. And I will talk to you guys soon with another episode. But that is all for today. So bye, guys.